We turn now to another Fox 5 I-Team exclusive. Our I-Team has learned the company at the center of an airport conflict of interest investigation is in business with a close friend of Mayor Kasim Reed at the airport. The city is looking into the business relationship between Hoge's branded foods and the wife of a top Atlanta airport executive. Our Dale Russell broke the story, is here now with the latest. Dale? Russ, there's more to this. After we broke the story of the Hoge's branded foods being in business with the executive's wife, the mayor moved quickly, putting the executive on leave and opened an investigation. Well, now another possible conflict involving a friend of the mayor. Has one good government group calling for an independent investigation. Now, once you get those babies seasoned, okay. you throw them right on the grill. For years, it seems like Chef G. Garvin was everywhere. Whether cooking up a storm on Good Day Atlanta, authoring cookbooks, or hosting this cooking channel show. That was really, really amazing. He was watched and read by millions. In 2012, he shifted his attention to the airport food scene, opening a first-of-its-kind concept, Low Country New Southern Cuisine. Garvin was a winner in the hotly contested, hard-fought food and retail bids that ended up with court fights and Mayor Kasim Reed's fundraisers as huge winners. Between the four big winners, there were also large supporters of the mayor. They'll receive $1.38 billion. Garvin's company partnered with Hoge's Branded Foods, a big player at the airport, and fundraiser for Kasim Reed and Keisha Lance Bottoms. It appears successful. Last year, Low Country grossed more than $3 million. But Hoge's Branded Foods is currently under a mayor's office investigation for a possible conflict of interest. My name is Ali Hoge. Why? Because the Fox 5 I team reported that Hoge's, who is seeking millions in business at the airport, is business partners with the wife of the airport deputy general manager over concessions, Cortez Carter. We are very excited to be here. It has been a long time coming. We found Sharice Carter working with Hoge's at a recent grand opening at Reagan National Airport in Washington, D.C. A Hoge spokesperson said the arrangement was made before Carter was hired by the city, and his wife, seen here on their Facebook page, has no business in Atlanta. Mayor Reed suspended Carter the day our report aired and opened an investigation into Hoge's current and pending contracts. But the Fox 5 I team has learned while the mayor's office is investigating Hoge's airport contracts, Hoge's branded foods is in business at the Atlanta airport with one of the mayor's best friends, Los Angeles attorney Dennis Ellis. This is Dennis Ellis and the mayor at Chastain Park, a picture published in a local newspaper. The two attended Howard Law School together. On this Facebook page, Ellis raised money for Reed's re-election from Howard alumni in 2013 and contributed to the mayor's campaign. Low Country Restaurant's 2011 letter to the airport showing they were going to partner with Hoge's did not include the name Dennis Ellis. He wouldn't answer questions about the company. We don't know if he was involved at that time, but we do know he's involved now. On Garvin's Low Country website, he credits his co-founder, T.C. Mosby Investments, as providing financing to the company and promotion hiring of employees and legal matters. Who is T.C. Mosby? We found this government document in Washington, D.C. that shows the president of T.C. Mosby Investments is Dennis Ellis. And we found this 2015 California corporate record that shows Dennis Ellis and Jerry Garvin as managers of Low Country Restaurant. Maybe it's not a blood relative necessarily, but it's someone in his circle. So there's definitely a conflict of interest. We took our findings to the director of Good Government Group, Common Cause. Sarah Henderson believes the Hoge's conflict of interest investigation should be done by an independent outside party, not the mayor's office. Let's start the bidding process all over. We've got new council, lots of new council members. We'll have a new mayor. Uh, they shouldn't have, Mayor Reed should not have rushed this process through. Now, Hoge's Branded Foods had no comment. A spokesperson for the mayor didn't answer our direct question, but wrote that the city earlier announced it would conduct a review of pending awards and current contracts of Hoge's after learning about that possible conflict of interest. And the city says they've done that, and the review is still underway, and they point out that the city has not moved forward right now with any new airport food or retail contracts. Russ? So what are the chances, do you think, Dale, that they might restart this bidding process, do it again? 
Yeah, nobody really knows, and there's, there's a lot of people out in the city that are involved in this, uh, council people are talking about it because there's a special call meeting for next week. Right. And this could be brought in and brought up then and, and put to a vote by the current council who, who are very supportive of the mayor. Uh, nobody knows if they're going to do that. Nobody knows if this investigation will be over by then, if this new wrinkle will have any impact on them at all. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. All right. Some legitimate questions being asked. Dale Russell, uh, thanks very much. Appreciate it.